Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match. First referee, Herbert Matematico, ABC International Referee. Second referee is Mark Santos, National Referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the PGJC Philippine Navy Sea Lions. Outside spiker number 16, team captain Seaman, second class, Greg Tolor. Center number 9, Boots Pudadera. Outside spiker number 11, Seaman, second class, Omar Leon. Metal blocker number 15, apprentice Seaman, Peter Kiel. Middle blocker number 17, Joe Boy Sapita. Opposite hitter number 18, Seaman, second class, Toto de la Vega. Starting the battle is number 13, Seaman, second class, Jack Kalinking. And the head coach for the Sea Lions is George Pasqua. And now the starters for the Criss Cross King Grunters. Opposite hitter number eight, team captain Isai Marasiga. Middle blocker number four, Kim Malabunga. Outside spiker number five, Jude Garcia. Middle blocker number seven, Rex Intal. Center number 14, Ish Polvorosa. Outside spiker number 15, Mark Espejo. Starting libero number 22, Sumang Sumangid. Head coach for the King Watchers is Anusor Tai Puntit. so far here in our tournament with just one more game remaining for them. Navy really looking good and they are pretty, they are in fact sure to be in the top four at this point. I think the winning, not winning number, I think, no, I think <laughs> uh, the, the, the wins, the number of wins to reach is six. Okay. Because earlier we showed the uh, standing signals at six and zero. Navy is at five and one. So you're pretty much safe when you go to six because Savage can actually still I make see. it. No, they have two more games. They can make five. So the six would be safe for uh, final four. I mean, as we take a look at the Chris Cross's first point there we've been saying from the start of the coverage that these remaining games are all very crucial because now it's the placing that counts medyo sabihin nating the top five teams are still uh, all going for the you know the four uh, crucial spots and crisscross and navy both right in the thick of things right actually the navigators we have to mention they're at four and two so they must win the remaining games about Mark Espejo at the top of the coverage. Nakapagpahinga na ng konti. Si Mark, nakatulog na ng konti. Nakadalawang training days na nga with the team. And he will score his first point off that solo block. Yeah, but you know, we have to say, we're going to expect Chris Cross to really come out firing because mm. uh, they did lose the signal in a painful five-setter while the Navy actually came from a three-set victory over VNS. So different story, so yeah. we will see today. But both teams with a lot of championship experience, they know what it's like to be on top and to win these championships. That's what makes this a very interesting matchup. So okay. far, they're looking to score. Yeah, it is. Uh, that You see the scores, they're in three. But uh, there was a check ball. Isai, Captain Isai Marasiga did admit that he touched the ball. So we are actually at one and two. Oh, that's a great set, a great call by the playmaker Ish Balbarosa there. 
Well, we know this connection. Ish Polverosa to Kim Malabunga. We've seen it lots of times. And, you know, they want to practice this set because we're heading to the final four. It's going to be a single round robin again. So they will be playing against maybe Navy, Signal for sure. So whoever makes it to the final four will go up against each other again. Navy making a quick catch up job here. They're just uh, down by point. And Peter Kiel getting ready to serve here. Garcia just going above the blockers and throwing off their hands. Garcia, Jude Garcia actually playing or having MVP like numbers this conference. And we haven't seen him in a bit because in quite a while because he did focus on beach volleyball. But for the fans, we're happy that he's back in indoors. 20 points against. Signal HD for Jude Garcia. Oh, and uh, these things still happen. I mean, it's good that they happen early. A little miscommunication on side of Chris Cross. Actually, it did touch the blocker's hand there. And Miscu, you're right. It, it landed right at the center of these players and from Chris Cross. Then, then if you're Navy, you see a weakness. So mm. you wa might want to target that. Or if we see it another way, we'll see how quickly Chris Cross will adjust it. And, um, I think they will be keener now about making these, uh, not making these errors. Well, you know, we have to mention also, no, Chris Cross, one of their biggest advantages really is their blocking. Navy's a pretty good blocking team, so we expect a lot of blocks today. So coverage has to take effect for both these teams. We saw there Sumangid unable to keep that ball in play. So these quick plays coming from Navy, I think, is uh, probably the way to go against a very good defensive squad like Chris Cross. Yeah. Overpass. Good cover by Marcus Pejo there. Pudadera putting it up. Back row attack. Oh, good cover. Yeah, with a cover. And that one sails outside. So we're just a little off there for Greg Delors. Rather De La Vega. Check that. De La Vega had 20 points last game. So another one of those big scorers, go-to player for Navy. Yeah, this is a good conference for him. In previous conferences, he was suffering or recovering, suffering from injuries. So he looks healthy here and he's playing well. That's good for Navy. It's a good start for both these teams. Yeah. Just yeah. a one point uh, advantage from Chris Cross. That's a good first ball. Espejo will take advantage. He likes him wide. Or we'll see. You know, we're, we're seeing uh, Espejo for the first time after a long time. Of course, there was that uh, his debut against Signal. But marami ding nakamis dito kay Marcus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was such a welcome um, scene to see Espejo and Bagunas in oh, the same yeah. court. Opposite, but same venue. And that one is going to be outside untouched. Point will go to the crisscross crunchers. And the score now 8 5. We are in our first technical timeout.
You were watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024, the Navy Sea Lions versus the King Crunchers. Pag-usapan muna natin ang Navy Sea Lions. I was able to talk to the team captain, Greg Donor. I asked him about the demeanor of the team. Of course, them coming off a win streak, a three-set win last game. The morale of the team is very positive, confident, but they were reminded by the management not to relax. It's a single round robin each and every game. Match counts. And their head coach, Coach George Pasqua, added that dapat hindi mo awalang tiwala sa sarili. They train every day, they work hard, they make the similar sacrifices, and with that, their game plan is simple. That is to stay confident, hungry, to trust in yourselves and one another. Back to you, Chiki and Noreen. Thanks so much, Baileys. And uh, this is uh, really the time of the tournament where we will see how their mental uh, readiness, the mental game, the mental aspect of volleyball will really come to play. And especially as they're preparing to go into the dreaded Final Four because uh, that one must win already. So the top two will make it to the gold medal match and the bottom two for the bronze. As we take a look at this, Big monster attack by De La Vega this time, scoring. Oh, making up for that error, remember, yeah. from the back row. And another back row attack, Marasigan. Oh, good Great save. Oh. Wow. Ang bilis ang pangyayari dito, and I think that is what Davey wants to do. They want to speed it up and catch crisscross off guard. Yeah, but what about this uh, pancake yes. pick by Kaling King? Crazy. Then you see Kale just using his smarts there, seeing the hole at the corner. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Espejo gave absolutely no opportunity for any defenders there on Navy. You want speed? You're talking about speed, Espejo. What a great That's step, though. Credit that to Ish, of course, who is very precise in his setting. He's at the serve now. Let's see who he targets. Going to the back there. Pudadera will put it up. Combo attack. Blockers were there, but it's a good uh, off-the-hand swipe. Well, you like the attitudes right now of Navy. They're fighting it out with Chris Cross. That's what you want to see. I mean, they're here for a reason. They're at 5-1 and one for a reason, and they've got themselves to thank, actually. Off time. The hang time saved him. <laughs> Someone outside, I think. It's going to be a violation against Chris Cross. That point will go to Navy. Did it hit the antenna? Yeah, it did. It did. The blockers were there, but Greg Delore, just enough power, then the ball just ricocheted to the antenna. Navy now in the lead. That one is going to be a check ball, and Chris Tross will get the ball right back. It's going to be this kind of day. Nip and tuck, balikan lang, palita ng puntos between these two teams. I mean, another great set we have to say by Ish because just one blocker and mm. normally if you're blocking Marcus Peo, you can't have just one blocker. Yeah. Service error from Espejo, that's a break for Navy. Well, he has. Actually, he, he has been struggling in terms of serves, no? two service errors. Oh. Wow, just a, this is a service ace after service error. So we're seeing a con study in contrast here. Things going well from the service side for Navy. And that's against the libero, a really premier libero of Chris Cross. Oh, no! <laughs> Really, that's the right <laughs> word to say. Oh no! <laughs> well, you talked about Navy. You know, have, they have to check their errors. You know, they're playing well, but they have to address that. Whoa! Oh, 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 Silence <laughs> for the serve of the Levea. Yeah. Oh, it's an outside too. 
They're going aggressive even from the service line, going for the big serves, and that one sails outside. Well, we expect that, you know, between these two teams. They're going to go for their serves, but at, at, as of this moment, maybe with two service errors, crisscross with three. Mm, so early in the set. Yep. Again. Oh. Good reflex action. Good Chris Cross keeps it alive. And uh, intercepted there. That's a great play. I thought it was going to go long. I thought it was going to be an open uh, uh, set, but Sapita just went for it. Yep. But Sumangit was actually frustrated with himself because he was there. He just wanted to control it more. That's a great play by Navy. Up by two now. Mm -hmm. And the challenge for Navy is how to oh. <laughs> how to protect the lead. Yeah. Well, it's not by service errors, that's for sure. Three apiece. We started this match, I mean, into the match. Crisscross with three, zero for Navy. Now it's three all. But they don't humahabol. Yep. That's a good first ball there. Oh, take a look at that. It's a perfect pass for Galing King. And really, whether there was left to do whatever he wanted. Yeah. With the ball. And if you don't do that often, I mean, that opens up the, the you know, the defense of Chris Cross. So, surprise, surprise. Oh, that's a good serve, but Sumang took care of that. Espejo good is thing. dug. Oh. Be a freebie. Let's see what Ish decides for this one. Good decisions. Oh, quick play, Rex Intal will score his first point. Boy, you know, for those who just watch or just turned on their set or whatever, or streaming, this is not Ateneo. This is crisscross mm -hmm. because people are used to seeing Marasigan, Espejo, Sumangid, and Fulverosa playing together. Yes, it is definitely an Ateneo core. And you've got um, Njiga also yes. waiting in the wings, yeah. another Atenean. Navy will get to 16 points first, our second technical timeout. Monster block. Cakes or chocolates? Cakes. Ace or kill? Kill. Party out or chill at home? Chill at home. OPM or K-pop? OPM. Pagalitan ni coach or hindi pansin ni coach? Pagalitan ni coach. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Siyempre, si Noreen, pag tanongin yung night out or chill at home? Siyempre, night out. Chill at home. And look at that. Navy now with a four-point advantage. And Chris Cross will need a timeout. Watch out, guys. How are you doing? Confident? Yes, good. That's a lie. 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 That's a lie.
first time out from either team. It took uh, this point for them to feel the need to come together. Of course, we had technical timeouts, but this is the f biggest lead that Navy is enjoying against Chris Cross. Yeah, Navy just, their defense on point. They're clamping down on Marcus Espejo. Mm. They got two straight points off of Espejo. Oh, that's great. And so Ish Balbaratha knows to explore his other options. And I like that huddle. I was looking uh, or listening to each time Marasigan, the captain. And he was telling the other players, like Juju Garcia, ask for the ball. We need to, you know, distribute. We need ball distribution. And for Bebera, uh, Sumangid is able to dig that one. <laughs> and Espejo, just uh, too much power on that one. And maybe could contain it. Yeah, making up for those previous errors, and that was uh, against Greg Delore, I think. Yeah. Yes. No? Lead down to two for Navy. That's a good serve. And uh, bouncing off of the blockers of Navy, but it sails outside, and De La Vega is actually just being practical. Just hit it off the hands. We know that the block is going to be there, so... I like that. Practical. Oh, kung paano na lang pwede yung score. <laughs> a point is a point, like we always say. Yeah, but what a set by Putadera. Great set. Marasigan is dug there. Chance here for Navy. Coming from oh! the right pin this time. He's everywhere. <laughs> Putadera knows he's got the hot hand, so he has been... Uh, Feeding Toto de la Vega. Look at that, just one blocker. Lead back to four for Navy. What a start. What a first set for yeah. Navy. Oh. <laughs> and you know, it, there's really nothing more to say. I mean, they're going to look back at the set and uh, notice their service errors. Talk about Navy, whichever way this goes. Four, four mm. service errors. They have surpassed crisscross. Good pass. Whoa. Man, look at that. I mean, it's just uh, in system. When you get that good pass, Greg Dolor likes that open set and beats the blockers up there. I like this rotation for Navy because you have De La Vega and Dolor in opposite ends. Side. Yeah. And we saw the block, but it looks like that one. Did it fall in? It's right in front of us where we don't see it. Nope. Let's see that. Slow mo. Ah, uh, it's outside. That is going to be a point for crisscross. And we see Coach George Pasqua just reminding the boys from the sidelines on how to close out that block. Demi Magala in, you know, they need defense right now. They want to chase. They're down by three. And that is off the block again. Practical talaga. Practical. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think Navy just has come to expect the blocks are going to be there every time. Yeah, and Greg Delore, I mean, you have... If Navy can get De La Vega and Dolor to play great at the same time, they have a huge chance today. Oh, lucky for Navy because there are no blockers there. And Garcia was all alone. Mm -hmm. He just hit it into the net. And Chris Cross will take another timeout. Looking, looking. First attack, ma. First attack. Need first attack. Huh? Say, say, not that guy. Okay. 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 Uh, or funnier things and stranger things, should we say, in volleyball. Uh, this is a five-point lead for Navy. There's the latter part. And we know they're going to go for the big jump serves like oh. that one. But that's a good stop there by Espero. Oh. But come on.
on, ball still alive. <laughs> Don't rejoice yet. How about that approach? And you know that Dela Vega was bound and determined to score with that back row attack. Yeah, but yeah, we thought it was a gunner already, yeah. but crisscross <laughs> keeping it alive. And then again, Podadera, really great setting, decision making, yeah. everything. And the transition, no? Mm, Just yeah. quick transition plays here. And Navy in multiple set points here, this first set. And De La Vega was uh, really wanting to end it with that serve. <laughs> so it's those high risk, high reward type serves. And Isai Marasigan finds himself in uh, the most pressure packed uh, position here right now. Trying to serve with five set points in the way, or that he needs to. Uh, avert. Yeah, he cannot afford no. an error. Oh, still alive. And that solid two man block will give Navy a first set win. That was a pretty easy time for Navy. It was lip and stuck until towards the end where we were na talaga ang Navy and I think we were expecting a block party and we're getting that but most of the blocks really working for Navy. We'll be back to discuss that first step. Stupid love. Yon, stupid love. <laughs> love. Fresh as the morning air. Stupid love. Mahulan ba sa inyo pagbunduos dito? Ako pa rin yung Manila. Kamusta ka na kahit huwag nang sagutin. Ilawan na wala. Ewan na. Like Don, Noreen, name that tune down. <laughs> That's really it's talo so much fun. Ako, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that first set. Like we mentioned before we went on break, it was anybody's set that until the latter part where the Navy were just more determined to take it. I think Navy really woke up to the right side of the bed. I mean, they came to the game focused. You know, they, they know what their job is supposed to be. Everyone's playing well, you know, they're they're enjoying themselves and they're challenging uh, Chris Cross. The problem with Chris Cross, you did say it was a pretty close first set up until those two stops on Marcus Pejo. That kind of changed the, how do you say, the body language of uh, the King Crunchers and, you know, that, there was problems already all the way till Navy claimed the first set. Look at the numbers attacks, boys, 17 attacks. Yeah. For Navy, Toto de la Vega just on fire, blocking went their way. We talked about Chris Cross and their strength in blocking, and so far just one. So, Chris Cross, they gotta wake up because uh, you also don't wanna go down two matches in a row. Oh! Well, we know whose eyes are wide open, and that is Toto de la Vega. 
because he is continuing his rampage from set one. I agree. That is his eighth point of the match. He leads all scorers, a spell with five for his cross. Good pass. And that quick. I think Ishpol Morosa, it's almost a sure shot when he's able to deliver those quicks to Balabunga. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the middles, oh, actually. Oh. Talagang yung pag kumakuha niya yung, yung first good pass, you know that Ish pretty much can take care of things. And he picks the right uh, offensive player, mm. right play. Oh, Pagala is starting here in the second set. Oh, that's two in a row. This time off the block. Yeah, great read by Kim Malabunga. He stayed with Leo. He saw that combination play. And we did say, we posed that challenge to Criss Cross. One block in the first set. So far at the start, they already have won. Mm -hmm. Two. <laughs> Actually, they're wasting no time reminding everybody that they are the number one blocking team in the league. I, you know that game against uh, Signal? Mm. They, wrong. they had 16 blocks, I think. Check. Check. 16. Yeah. 16 blocks. Wow. And then one in the first set. That's what they're saying. They need to. Yeah, improve. pick up the blocking because that is their strength. Well, let's mention that Navy is also the third best blocking team. So, talagang there's going to be a lot of action at the net as expected. Well, then you know that uh, the setters, they need yeah, to get creative. Exactly. Well, exactly what I was thinking. This is a real test for the setters. <laughs> and Ish, nakabantay doon, knowing that the net can play tricks on you. But still, the point will go to Navy for that one. That was so smart of Toto de la Vega. He showed his hand. Mm. Then when Garcia was about to brush it off the blockers, he took it out. <laughs> so it went out. out. I mean, that was smart. Yeah. Just all the time thinking, all the time just uh, aware of what's going on. Oh, that sounds like a kill. It is a kill. We heard that was a solid Solid attack there by Isai. The contact was perfect. Yeah. Well, that's his first point. That's his first point of the game. Good serve. And again, oh. this is going to be a violation called against Criss Cross. Oh, they call a net violation? And eagle eyes for our referee, referee Santos, our second referee, caught that one. And no uh, opposition there. Being a challenge. And that was involved. Inside still. Boy, you, you can see really. Remember, a lot of talk after the loss to Signal is how will Chris Cross, you know, react? Or respond, and so far they look like a demoralized team. Mm. We have to say they're watching the balls fall. So yeah, I mean they need a spark. Jewel, uh, Asia coming in for the first time, taking the place of Setter. So let's see if that is going to be the spark you're looking for. And you're pointing out the errors at this point, Noreen. Yeah, crisscross with four already. Yeah, we're just getting started here. Boy, Navy really, they're like men with a mission, right? I mean, they're just playing smart, playing practical, like you said. Eight points so far for De La Vega. Asia, that works out. It was a good first play by Joel Asia. Just Arrived, just got into the game. Garcia will get that point. June, by the way, is the sixth best scorer, the top scorer from among the crisscross crunchers. So he's the one in the top ten. Yeah, MVP like number so far this conference. He's a little bit quiet the first set. Maybe with a three-point lead in his first technical timeout.
nakatuto po kayo sa Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. We are, we are live at the United Sports Arena, Pasig. It is the second set of PJGC versus Chris Cross. Pag-usapan natin ang King Crunchers. I was able to have a chat with Isai Manasigan, their team captain. And Isai mentioned to me that they had a tough five-setter loss against the number one team, Signal HD Spikers. A lot of frustration from the team, emotional, ang management, ang players. But they regrouped, went back to the drawing board, back to the basics, their system and their execution. But then again, they recalled, they reminded each other that the team is relatively new. They're young, they had limited time to prepare, only two months before the competition. And with that, they want to use all the balled up energy and emotions as fuel for the coming games for this game, especially the overwhelming support from the fans. We can expect, and we are already witnessing a much more calm and composed crisscross team. Back to you, Cheeky and Marine. Thanks a lot for that, Baileys. You're right. I mean, it's a quick catch-up job that crisscross is doing here. Here. They're now just within a point of Navy, but yeah, it can work both ways. Like you said, you can be fueled by a win or a loss. So it's really up to you how to take the game that uh, you played right before this one to make it work to your advantage. Yeah, it really depends on one's mindset. Yeah. You're right. Ooh. Yeah, good save there by Chris Cross. That was a tough one for Bagalai. And Barasigan tried, but there's just no room for him to the ball. Good effort there. We haven't seen too many rallies like this yet. Right, right. The rallies have been short now here. But yeah, I mean, maybe just, uh, again, great setting by Potadera. Getting the back rows involved and, again, ball distribution. And that's over. And Leoc knew it. Free point. Credit that to the good serve. Of Sapiza there. Oh, yeah. Three point lead erected by Navy. I mean, they're, they've improved so much from last conference to this conference, and that's why they only have one loss. Both of these teams losing only to Signal so far in this tournament. Balai. That was a much better set for him. I don't envy which side would did. I mean, you, you opt to, to sit Mark Espejo, right? I mean, that's not an easy decision to make, but whatever he feels that's fit for the team. And Asia giving it to Bagalai again. And that's a proven connection there. Oh, wow. Down the line this time. This is going anywhere on the court. Bagalai just in command. He's for me, that's just smart setting, number one, and hitting because they're challenging the shorter blocker mm -hmm. in Pudadera. Go, go down the line. Oh! Again, a good choice. We're seeing this time Pudadera showing off, knowing where to go, and these um, decisions to activate the middle, whether it's crisscross or navy, phase off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you know both both these teams are good in blocking. Mm -hmm. So again, we said we did mention that the setters have to get creative, and they have been. Yeah. Going outside this time, so varying up the plays oh. like we've seen here. Leo this time takes care of business. Did you see his follow through? He just really smashed it against the blockers. He knew he wanted to hit it up. Nasasalag lang kasi ng blocker, kaya kung hindi niya natamaan, baon na baon sana yun. Ganun kalakas yun. Yeah. Oh. And that's an ace for Navy. They are up by four points, and Chris Cross will call for time. Sige lang, sige lang, sige lang. 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 And one thing we know about Coach Tai Bondit, and we get this from all of the 
anecdotes and stories from their the players that he has handled. He really works them physically. These guys are really in shape because that is a priority of Coach Tai because he wants them always aggressive and is always ready to keep playing. Yeah, I did hear that. You know, the trainings are so hard. Look at that. It's really because he wants them to keep going. It is more the expectation for them to just keep going for the ball and to keep uh, going for the plays. On the other hand, there are other teams or other systems where you want to stick to the really the, the system and just execute the plays. But I feel the problem right now for Chris Cross is not physical, it's more mental, mm. it's more the psychological effect yeah. maybe of that loss could be, but uh, you know, we've seen them play happier, lighter. I mean, that is also the trademark of Coach Tai. Happy, happy. Yeah. yeah, and you talked about uh, Marcus Pejo back uh, on the bench after starting in this game. There's also the issue of his coming from a Korean type uh, uh, volleyball, which yeah. is very different from the Thai brand of volleyball, which we just described. Korean because system talaga. Just uh, they stick to their plays, stick to their offense, and they don't like to ad lib. And Rex and Dal will sit out. Chu and Jiga will get some action for the first time here in this match. Yeah. But we have to mention, Marcus Pet has just trained with the team twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there there will be adjustments, obviously. But what about Navy? Come on. Let's talk about Navy. Yes, let's they're talk just, about Navy. They're just in the zone here in this match so far. They're able to maintain a four-point lead. Uh, Chris Cross actually just uh, staying right there with them. But Navy is, uh, I mean, we know that in terms of skill, talagang nandiyan naman, di ba? Kaya lang there's a lot of hype, a lot of buzz around crisscross. And that's why it's really a good time to refocus and, and talk about why Navy is in the lead now. Mm -hmm. Boy, they're just, they're just playing it so smart here. Outside set. Just, uh, Hit outside, and I think the errors that was a error on the attack was untouched. So Navy also causing crisscross to make their own error. 16 12, Navy up by four. For me, the hard work talaga. outside the court, during your practices, your trainings, uh, yun yung always na kailangan pagbutihan para mas magamit mo and magawa mo during the games. So I think that's the number one thing for me, na mas importante yung uh, preparation outside the court before anything else. Arena Plus, Astig sa sports, and we really were just talking about that, Noreen. I mean, outside the court at the game, so that could mean in training, in the gym, uh, the mental preparation, all of that. Samar Sigan is a veteran. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, and we, we have to say, although these players from Chris Cross are talented, obviously, and they've got, they've got names, they're a newly formed team, yeah. so they're going to have time to need time to, to gel. Meantime, Navy, like we mentioned, also at the top of our coverage, they have already experienced championships. The lore there, as we talk about their consistency, the lore will get the error. They're an unforced error on the attack. 
And now a crisscross, just a point away. Pinapractice natin yan, di ba? So, huwag lang tayo kailangan sumide out. Pag pumunta si Kalaban, kailangan mapatay natin kaagad. Or else, mahihirapan tayo pag pumunta sila. Kailangan pigilan natin silang pumunta. So, okay lang, side out, side out, as long as lamang tayo. Pero pagka nangahabot tayo, try to na makadikman lang sa kanila. Then, ipipressure natin ngayon sila. Maluanag. Tara, huwag lang tayong bibitaw sa black, ha? Navy! Kuya! Finally, we hear from Coach George Pasca, who, of course, is also a national player, one of the uh, le living legends. Naksa, Coach high George, flying, yeah? High flying. Ayun. He's my contemporary. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Minus the white hair. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he is also really making the point of Navy's need to protect their leads and to actually string along points rather than just get playing side out volleyball. Yeah, and he's reminding the boys that to expect that crisscross will come back. Now we have to counter that. You know, that's very important. You're playing really well. You actually can do that. The run that we're seeing actually coming from across the way from crisscross and quickly Dolor averting that run, getting the ball back. You know, ever since he was in FBU, I was such a fan of the way he plays, obviously, but the way he celebrates after, that was so much gusto. Yeah. So much, ever since he was in FBU. I'm sure the team also benefiting from his leadership mm. as the team captain this year. Whoa! Where did that come from? I mean, that is the kind of thing that really crisscross needs. You know how fast that was? It hit the floor and it bounced and hit Greg Delore in the face. There you go. It was yeah. that fast. <laughs> yeah, it came from the pipe. So yeah. he had all the space to really go go for it. Yeah. Oh, oh and the counter. Coming from Navy, Marvin Villanueva. Making an uh, impact attack there down the line. Boy, that was unexpected, but such a welcome sight for Navy. And so you've got some new players coming in for the second set. Marvin Villanueva also coming off the bench. And, and we have uh, Alicando. number six, Jeffrey Alicando. Oh, good stuff. Just uh, coming off the bench, still a little cold. Boy, they need, it's just, like you said, it's just a one point lead. So, Amy, they need a good pass here. Whoa! Oh, wow! And just converting and getting the ball right back. That's two in a row for Marvin Villanueva. Same exact lane. Yeah. Well, again, great setting there. Yeah, just a one-on-one, -on -one and he said it back-to-back -back points. And this is against the number one blocking team, so Navy also did their homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that is actually clear. Pudadera doing an awesome job with the setting. And a quick counter there by Malabuna, who was explosive in the first part of the second set, so he needs to come alive again for yeah. Chris Cross. Well, not the greatest of form, uh -huh. but he got the job yeah, done. Yeah, got the job done. Oh, good block, but good pick up there by Navy. Chance here for Joel Echa to make a play. Marasigan trying to meet oh, the blocker. Playing it smart, Isai Marasigan getting things uh, even here at 19 apiece. First deadlock in a while. Yeah. And now you see the smiles from the King Crunchers. Yeah. You can actually feel it. It's palpable. The energy all of a sudden up a notch yeah. here from yeah. the white shirts. Boom! And that's going to help their campaign for sure. Chris Cross taking the lead. Well, with that overpass and that kill, the energy even went up a notch higher. <laughs> Timeout, Coach Pasqua.
kalaban ninyo eh. Nasa behind pa rin sila eh. Hinahabol lang kayo bahit kayo hinto. Naitindihan, don't stop. Gaya ninyo eh. Kung babayaan nyo nga habol yung kalaban, walang mangyayari sa atin, ba't kayo may hinto? The more na lamang kayo, the more na dapat mas aggressive tayo. Sa receive, sa block, any, sa atake. Ba't kayo bibitaw? Nato na tayo eh. Ba't kayo lang hintayin yung kalaban ninyo para kayo maabutan? Let's go! Push! Balik! 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 I mean, it may not be intentional, but Coach George addressing uh, team's tendency to relax a bit if they're in the lead and they're doing well. And I think a uh, waker upper such as that will serve maybe well. Let's see how they respond. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that he called that timeout again because it's just a one-point mm. game. But you know Chris Cross is in the zone. Mega collapsing into error here. Crisscross now two points ahead. Well, yeah, if you're Navy, you don't want to be committing errors, you know, especially that uh, Crisscross has the, is, has a run here. De La Vega will get another chance, and this time off the block, Isai Barasigan is happy about the third of events. I mean, let's take a look back at set number one. It was a commanding uh, win. It was a emphatic win by Navy. So this is crisscross trying to just get back at them and yeah. remind themselves who they are. Yeah. And using their strengths, right? They're, they're blocking. Mm. Good serve. Yeah. De La Vega again oh. going cross court. What a cut shot. He probably said to himself, why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> why did I hit it to the blockers? Yeah. Of course. Uh, Perhaps also to Kutadera, who was on the floor trying to get to that second ball. Yeah. Excellent set. Two point game. Good first ball there. Sumang. Oh, it's not Sumang. Yeah, you know, Navy. Right? Yep. Navy needs to adjust because Chris Cross is just dropping at the center and has scored a couple of points. Garcia did that. Arasiga did that. So the defense has to adjust. And we're seeing how Coach Tai is lucky to have two strong units. I mean, we're seeing practically this is a mix, but uh, some. Uh, second stringers, our Jewel Asia, also an yeah. equally strong backup setter for Ish Polgorosa. And don't forget, Femi Magalay started. Yeah. And right away, crisscross, finding themselves in a very good position. They have three set points, four set points here. And a great set, and you know, a lot of contributions right away from. Uh, Chu coming in midway into the second set in Jiga already making uh, some noise. Yeah. Whoa! Oh! As we talk about Chu and Jiga, he will end this game with that solid block, giving Chris Cross the win. Things are all even now, one set apiece. We did expect this mm -hmm. to go. I mean, it's a match between two strong teams, yeah. so we expect it to go the distance. We'll take a break. Back in a moment.
ko to kasi OPM to eh. 214 ba to? The world could die and everything may lie. Just a small town girl. Alam ko hindi ko ano ang title na to? Living in a lonely world. We took the midnight train going anywhere. Binihir. <laughs> Don't stop believing, yes. Nabitin ako, dalawa lang. Of course, Pem Magala is showing his, uh, no, no, his uh, singing talent as well. I mean, hindi lang natin pinapahulay yung mga kanta. Nakita din natin. But back to the highlights of set two here. Yeah, I mean, it was a good start by Navy. We thought that uh, they would actually go up two sets to none. But as Coach George kept reminding the boys from from Navy, it's, you know, it's like you know Chris Cross is going to come back in the match, so you have to keep it under control. However, they couldn't. Yeah. They couldn't follow that. And Chris Cross just playing it smart, and I'll use your term, playing it practical, mm -hmm. just dropping, you know, finding the holes, finding the weakness in the defense. So at some numbers attacks, actually everything pointed to a crisscross victory. Yeah. But all these numbers piled up towards the latter part when they actually pulled away. That's why it became 25-20. But prior to that, it could have been anyone set. Yeah. Right. Ito na yung block. So crisscross deciding that they are going to be scoring off the block in the second set. We saw a lot of action at the net there because ka both teams very strong in blocking. Pero yung talagang yung mga offensive blocks na yung nakikita natin coming from Chris Cross that is something that Navy will need to respond to yeah yeah well you have to remember they had a really great first set and you know they just have to go back to that place but what about Chris Cross and Coach Ty shuffling of men yeah and you're happy because we got you and I we got to talk to Mark during the changeover and he was really tired yes I mean, still recovering and Chris Cross was able to actually win that set resting or giving Mark much needed That's rest. True. That's true and they keep going as Isai Manasigan will score the first point. We heard from Isai during uh, one of the features earlier today and you get reminded of the importance also of his leadership command on the side here of Chris Cross because these are a bunch of experienced players but from the, they've, they've gone their separate ways in Ateneo. He is the number one blocker in the league, and that's why. <laughs> He's showing us this is the way to block. He's got 18 kill blocks already. 19 after that one. Topping all blockers in the Spiker stir for this tournament. That looked really good. You know, if you <laughs> want to block, watch that slow-mo over and over again. Do you see the way he penetrated the net with his arms? That's perfect blocking for you. Malaysia trying to outsmart the defense of Navy and he manages because there's a little confusion and commotion going on in the blue side. And you can see that that's really what they need to do is to settle down. Yes. You're seeing the body language there. That is his order of the day. Peter Kiel telling his teammates, Kalma. They seem rattled here at the start of the third set. I like that, no? Peter Kiel saying, you gotta, like, you, like you said, you got to settle down because that's not the start you want from, from Navy. And here comes Navy on the offense. De La Vega sending the ball over. Jewel Asia. And that was mistimed. So, miscue. So, chance here for Navy to try to sway things and Maybe get uh, the momentum back. <laughs> you look at the reaction both of uh, Joel Asia and Kim Labo, it's sayang. sayang. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you describe that reaction? Isay doon in that last play. And resorting to the strategy they did towards the end of that second set, they were just pushing, dropping, and Navy is just caught off guard, so they have to adjust. And it's just the blocking of crisscross. I mean, they are impenetrable. 
Look at that. Going up, but that, did that go outside? Oh, it is. You know, we needed that uh, slow mo because that is right in front of us with a barrier. So. But that's so fast. Yeah. of the commitment of Chu and Jiga and Joel as a front row people of this uh, uh, they will just challenge everything every time. Yeah. And, and Marafigan has uh, awoken. Mm. I mean, now, if he's quiet, the team's quiet. He oh, has nah. to be noisy. Oh! Yeah, he was actually just trying to save that ball to the Dera from it going over. That was a tough one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe in the set having all sorts of problems. Yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, if Jig was right there, he would have just pushed, <laughs> pushed that ball right in. That would have been a point for crisscross anyway. That is true. Uh, open set there. Oh, Knights Judge says inside, Coach Tai wants a challenge. He was right there where the ball dropped. And uh, we have the ball in, ball out card up. First yeah. challenge, I think, from Coach Tai. I think so. And we will see who has a better vantage point oh, yeah. because they are very close to each other, Coach Tai and the linesman. Yeah, we're looking at the ball dropping in that left corner pocket in zone five. And nandun na katayo si Coach Tai. Eh. Talagang sigurado siyang pasok yun. Yep. <laughs> and he's looking at it again. <laughs> Drinoing uh, Panya, eh. you're not seeing this on your screens, but Coach Tai is having fun with this video challenge. He's making it appear to be like beach volleyball, wherein the ball marks the sand. <laughs> because the writer only yeah. marked it, like he said. Speaking of beach volleyball, aside from all the action we're seeing in co indoors, there's a lot of volleyball happening even outdoors. Mm. So, yeah. And we also want to talk about uh, another PNVF tournament that is in the works, which we will be uh, bringing all of you volleyball fans very soon. So tomorrow. Tomorrow. So just make sure you keep watching One Sports, One Sports Plus. I want to greet everybody who is uh, tuned in on Filipinas Live. And we have a question for you, which Libero will make a bigger dent. Is it going to be Kalinki or Sumang? But we're also seeing the second libero from Chris Cross getting some action here. Juby Mangaring. Mm. Taking a little while for this challenge. Ah, okay, so we can't show it. So they ah. called. We had some crisscross personnel to the screen, and he did see he did land in. So there was no video. There was no video that we can show. Yeah, but but they saw it, so it is an unsuccessful challenge because the ball ended within the line. And just. Really, Joel Asia coming up with these unexpected one-two plays. Yeah, I mean, coming off the bench, you know, he's playing really well for both sides. Four-point lead for Chris Cross after taking that second set, 25-20. If you're joining us just now, Navy won the first set, 25-19, or so even at one apiece. And that was Jacob, John Jacob, who's off the bench. And these are precious points. They need that. They need points aside from Toto de la Vega. Mm -hmm. And they, sh they need to set Greg Delore a lot more. And ah. you started talking about the depth of Chris Cross's bench. It's the same thing with Navy. I mean, both of these players get playing time and they are able to contribute and Navy will really need to figure out what to do because they're down by four.
live at the Inhara Sports Arena, Pasig City. You are watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. It is an ongoing third set, PJGC versus Chris Cross. The set score is tied one and one. Pag-usapan mo natin ang Navy Sea Lions. The head coach, Greg Pasqua, gave a lot of words of encouragement during that second set and an ongoing one for this one too. Boosting their confidence, motivating his Spikers to be more aggressive. Now, wala na daw mo ng control, control. Dagdag pa ni Coach Greg, addressing Joven de la Vega. Nailabas ang kanyang power sa kanyang service at isama pa niya ang buong bukolod sa mga palo niya. The Navy Sea Lions have a lot of respect to the King Crunchers and they have to double their effort and energy as they play catch up in this set. Back to you, Shakina Reed. Thanks so much, Bailey. Gusto ko yan. Actually, si Coach George, but talagang he knows how to make a point. Dali mo yung bumbok, bakolot. <laughs> Isama mo pa. And so he wants a more aggressive uh, plays. He wants uh, just a more aggressive attitude, actually, from yeah. the boys, which I think we're seeing now after that technical timeout. That's an overreach. The ball was still in the airspace of crisscross and kill. And as we natin, they're raring to go. <laughs> Clear. Aggressive. <Yeah. laughs> you like aggressive, but you can't go within over. limits. <laughs> oh, we have to mention also Coach George Pasqua. He's actually coaching PGJC Navy for the love. Mm. For the love, because, yeah, I mean, I heard that. For the love of. Uh, PGJC Navy. So hats off, man. Whoa, what is he gonna dug? And again, it's a block. And Chris Ross continues their rampage at the net. Malabunga. A problem for Navy. And we know if Chris Cross starts blocking, you know, good things happen to them. They have three blocks in set number two, just one in set number one. And I think that is really what Navy needs to do is to just execute their plays more quickly, yes. look for those quicks. You have to counter great blocking by, we always say, first, good coverage. But if you can do it by setting, finding the open hitter, mm. which that's better. Sa lagay niyo, naabutan pa nga eh, pero at least hindi pa naka-establish yung blocker. Yeah. Oh, good reaction. Oh, yeah. ah! <laughs> I mean, Malabunga, you gotta give him credit for the effort. Kakapalo pa lang niya and he's right back to block, but fortunately for Navy, that one is outside. So good thinking, quick thinking, quick reaction yeah. from both sides. Here come Navy. I mean, you like their their body language here yeah. at, the, at the 8, 9, 10 part of set number three. And Malabunga getting a lot of touches, getting a lot of opportunities to score. This time he's successful. Well, with the help of the net, that dribbled <laughs> over. Good serve. Open set. Quick. Good pick up there by Kalinking. Oh. Good save. They're going for the second ball. Right back to crisscross now. Garcia going for it <laughs> off the block. And uh, these rallies are few and far between. <laughs> But they're fun to watch. They are, and it's getting more interesting. But we have to say, obviously, Kiel was late. So that, that, that delay was the biggest difference because Jude Garcia just hit it off the hand. Oh. <laughs> Back set. Garcia nakabantay. Isa pa nga. Oh. <laughs> That was the shoulder, trying to keep the ball in play of Malabunga. <laughs> Whatever works, yep. but that was too strong. But Coach George should be really happy about what he's seeing. He's seeing a much more aggressive Navy for sure. <laughs> I like that, though. His arms were nowhere in to be found. He really used his shoulder. Oh. And Garcia and the rest of Crisscross maintaining their level of aggression. So. 
right now, crisscross maintaining their lead. Ito naman alagaan nila yung lamang nila. Yeah. And, and they're doing it with a different six. You see, Jewel Asia, mm -hmm. Shumason and Jiga, and then even Pemi Mag Magalay. Mm -hmm. So great uh, response from the boys. Service errors are kept to a minimum uh, in the second set and also here in the third set, but they really need to watch out for those. Well, it's a four-point game. Maybe you want to keep it close. Mm -hmm. You heard Coach George say that in the second set. Good serve. Uh -huh. Ooh. Wow, nice stops on both ends ah! here. <laughs> If you're, you know, in the back row, we saw that really awesome save by uh, Leo. Na talaga matuwa ka na lang na na-convert to a point, di ba? Yeah, I mean, excellent set. Obviously, the blockers were really late. De La Vega, good serve, good stop by Garcia. And, and Jiga, and Jiga has been playing very clean and very efficiently. We like the sound, no? That contact with the ball is crisp. And we know that Jiga, even, you know, aside from his Ateneo stint, we know that even in signal, he is always the... He, he doesn't always start, but usually coming off the bench, he has always been very reliable. Mm, very athletic, very quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good combo play, confusing the blockers and crisscross there. And look who it is, or who it was, Villanueva coming off the bench. He did that in set number yeah. two. Again, this is a display of malalima ng mga bench dito. Eh. That's true, that's true. And you like it because the bench players, obviously, when they're watching, they're so gung-ho to come in. Yeah. So when they're in, they just... Try to give it. And this is also, I guess, it's a testament to their need to, I guess, really depend on those off the bench. Because they're aaral to they scout the players who are the, the score leaders, the ones who usually get the touches. So hindi nila masadong kilala yung mga off the bench, and they're uh, able to, you know, they they become more effective. Yeah. And that element of surprise. Mm -hmm. Again! <laughs> and remember, I think set number two, he uh -huh. scored two, two in a straight row. also. Oh, pero dito, kaliwat kana na. Kanina, uh -huh. sa kaliwa. Then you want to say that's a great substitution. Yeah. Marvin Villanueva scored five against VNS in that straight set win right before this game. Asia. I mean, now you know that he's going to keep doing this. You're going to second guess him every time. Will he or won't he? And he did. <laughs> he will. He <laughs> did. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20th on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on Signal. And we are back at the Inara Sports Arena. This is the first of our doubleheader today. Very exciting first game between the PJ and Navy and the Criss Cross King Crunchers. They split the first and second sets, and look at this tightly contested third set. Yeah, pretty close. Two-point game, and as you were saying, that Liok 
gets on the scoring board here in the third set. Lefty Villanueva there with a good serve. Ball back to Chris Cross, and that has been effective. Palamuga. Yeah, when you say you adjust, that is a perfect example because he was blocked earlier. Then, you know, the disrespect for Peter Kiel. He, he, he put an angle to that second attempt. Femi Ogala, he didn't start against Signal that last game they played, but he is kept in the game. He only scored a point last game, but... He's having a good day today, Bagala, even at, at defense. And <laughs> Bagala, very happy about that because he got the play going. Yeah. And Garcia just finishing off. <laughs> He's just like exerting his power, his might with that. Blockers were there, but he just overpowered the hand. Timeout Navy. Boys. Sabi ko sa inyo, try lang natin, umatempan lang tayo kahit hindi natin mabuhay yung bola. Pangalawa, pangatlong attempt, baka sakaling umangat yung bola. Pinababayaan yung bumagsak ang bola, yung tumatama doon sa, sa kamay ng blocker. Ang munang hakbang nyo, pa, huwag nyo muna titignan yung bola. Paa muna, kasi kung titignan yung bola, hindi kayo mahakbang, hindi nyo rin siya makukuha. Kasi nakikita nyo na eh, ang nangyayari, hindi kayo nagre-react, hindi kayo nagtatry, o umatempan lang. Ngayon, try nating manalo. Tignan nyo, subukan nyo lang. Pero kung tanggapin na nyo, hindi kayo manahin. Hindi talaga kayo manakal. Hindi natin sinusubukan eh. Subukan muna natin. Okay, saan mo natin tayo, ha? Well, that's a challenge if I ever heard one. Try. Subukan nyo. To believe that you can win. Because that's true. If in your mind, you've already lost, then battle has been half lost. Oh, I believe. We talked about it in uh, other coverages, but sometimes this whole manifesting, it's mm -hmm. a thing that these players are taught now in their sports psychology. You, know, you manifest a win. Conversely, oh, if you manifest a loss, then that's uh, how you, your body will react. Yeah. We have a block touch challenge coming from Navy. And this is a big lead for Chris Cross at this point. It was 19-15. Let's see if the score will stay that way with the challenge pending here. Meantime, let's remind everybody that we have another game coming up between the Maverick Hard Hitters and VNS Nasty Griffins. We understand that there are some technical difficulties here. They hit up until with the video challenge, but we are taking a look at the officials, just watching the tape. I don't know if we're able to show everybody the the video challenge. It is a block touch challenge. I can actually see it from here that there is a challenge. I don't think. I think the problem is showing it. Yes, yes, we cannot air it for everybody else to see. Pero meron na mga We'll still try, but we're still awaiting the decision. Suffice it to say, we're getting uh, into the meat of this match where every point counts. So, hindi natin mapapakita sa ating mga viewers, pero tinitig na rin naman natin na uh, testigo rin naman tayo. <laughs> Noreen, <laughs> you have to trust that, us. Yes, the video challenge uh, is actually working from the venue. And we will await the official call of the referee. Pinaka-concerned yan si Coach George. Again, the PGJC Navy coming off a win. A three-set win against VNS. Signal smarting from the loss against, I mean, crisscross from losing to Signal. They're showing Coach George because it was Coach George who actually challenged that Toto de la Vega hit. And let's see what the official call is. No block touch. Wala daw, sabi ng ating referee, second referee Santos, confirms. There's 
no block touch. That's a point. 19-14 is, in fact, the score here in this third set. Leok. Rebound there. Play continues. Oh! And the talk about adjustments. We're seeing it on the side of Peter Kiel and company. What a matchup. You know, Peter Kiel and Kim Malambunga. I wonder, I think they played against each other in college, FEU and NU. So they are no strangers to each other. Kiel is the third best blocker in the league. the hands of Peter Kiel. So even if you're that good a blocker, Sabine Garcia, just hit it off your hands and score <laughs> anyway. More power it through. He's just gonna ram it. And I don't know if you all at home are picking up the announcement here from the venue, but we will not be using the challenge system from here on out. He's the one actually who listened to Coach George. Believe that we can win. Mm -hmm. So his leadership is really much needed by Navy. Kale scored 14 against DNS in that last game. Good dig. Whoa! Pasok, sabi ng Lions judge. Down the line, there's a quick point. I think the very effective timeout and message come messaging from Coach George. I like that, Tena. Subukan nyo na to believe that we can win! Eight. Yeah! The ties have really changed here. That is a run for Navy. Three points in a row. And now Chris Cross will call for time. Brace yourselves as athletes and sports lovers have no hold barred conversations with Sean Ildefonso. Watch Sean Time, exclusive on Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now. Catch up for Navy. Crunch time here for Crisscross, although they are still ahead. They want to protect that lead. And Drew Garcia does that. Well, you did say crunch time. Crisscross are the king country. <laughs> I love, uh, to me, it's so much fun. I love seeing those cross-body down-the-line yeah. shots. Yung mukhang tatawid sila, mukhang go-cross-court go cross sila, pero they go down the line. The deceptive ones. Yeah. Now. Oh. Ayun, siguradong cross-court, pero lumabas. And there's no challenge. Mm -hmm. There's a timeout that they can do. Tinatagit natin na board na ganun. Sabi ko sa inyo, pag iniwan si Soblak, automatic yung outside yan. Sa natindihan, okay lang ma-block. Provided, huwag niyong iiwas. Then, receive ulit. Itatasin mo na yung receive ninyo. Boots, ang, ang proper, ah, eto, eto ang proper. Hindi na kaganyan, hindi ka makakilaw kahit anong gawin mo. Kahit nandiyan lang yung bola sa tapat ninyo. Subukan natin, depensahan, ibalik ulit. Itay natin, try natin, dumikit man lang. Para kahit pa paano, may chance tayo. Okay? So, what's up, Black? That was Coach George Paspas last time out for this set. And he felt the need to call it at this point and also maybe just uh, slow down the momentum on the other side. But then you, you see the difference in huddles. The first was trying to encourage the players, believe you can win. Here he's, he's like... He likes the response of the boys. Five points so far for Isai Marasigan, team captain. Crisscross and the blocking continues, but that one is hit uh, outside. That one lands outside. Right, Greg Delore using the hands of uh, Injiga. I like that reaction. It's like a <laughs> slow backpedal. We like the swag. Yep. 
Joel going open to Garcia. And he is finding that line in zone six. Or he went over the blockers. You know, it's a three-man block, but look at that. And then it was a smart hit because he did challenge the smaller blocker. We always say, if you have three in front of you, you go for the smaller mm -hmm. one. Precision there for Jude Garcia. And that one also goes outside. I mean, there really is the need for Navy to now iwasan yung blockers. Kaya susugan sila dun sa mga cut shots and the sharp cross, which is not the easiest thing to do. Or trust your coverage, mm -hmm. right? You have to trust your coverage. Set point. Not yet. Lucky break here for Navy. This is four set points that they need to hold. They need to do it with Greg Delore at the back and actually even De La Vega. So it's, a, it's going to be a challenge for Navy. Go with the jump serve. Here comes Criss Cross. Oh. Good defense by Navy. Bagala calling for four touches. touches, but there is no challenge, so let's see if... But I think he has a point. It looked like it uh, hit two players, so that's one, two, and then the, somebody set it, and then mm -hmm. that's a four. I think he, he has a point, but you're right, no challenge. Back row attack. Well, Still good save. defense. And Jiga again with the put away. This time 25 21. The score for this set one more time in that last sequence. He likes Jewel Asia. Yeah, that is a tried and tested connection already. And Chris Cross will walk away with a win number two in sets. Fourth set, a must win for Davy. hard work talaga. Outside the court, during your practices, your trainings, uh, yun yung always na kailangan pagbutihan para mas magamit mo and magawa mo during the games. So I think that's the number one thing for me na mas importante yung uh, preparation outside the court before anything else. It's two sets to one for the crisscross King Crunchers. We knew that they had a mission coming into this game, trying to avenge themselves with that painful loss against Signal, the five-setter, and uh, they are on their way. And I think it's also for crisscross to discover their identity, meaning they can use, they have other options in terms of starting sixes. And the second option was the one actually, or is the one that's working for them. So they're going to stick to that, right? They're going to stick to Penny Bagalay. Why not? You know, they're playing well. So maybe listen to coach. You have to believe you can win this. This is a second six for King Crunchers. And you just have to remember how you won the first set. Look at the numbers. 
attacks by one blocks. Well, we can't say whoever blocked better would uh, end up prevailing in that set. It's, look at the serves, one and zero. But maybe seven errors. I mean, he, they just couldn't find that, that groove. Yeah. You know? A lot of it on the attack. And I think that it's also uh, because of Coach George Pascal's call for them to just go all out and be aggressive. And I think that adrenaline will also do that to you and the need to really just uh, elude the blockers of Chris Cross. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I agree. And you're right. No? Also, also for me, for Navy, rem bring back that the first set, mm -hmm. you know, that body language, that celebration, yeah. that enjoyment. That's very important for the boys. You know, we saw Dr. De La Vega explode the first set, and he needs to, again, be that present for his teammates. Sabayanya si Kiel, at si Greg Dolor, they just have to all come out and um, play strong together. Yeah, maybe had a run there in the third set, and you did say the name, no? Thanks to Peter Kiel. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine if they can play well all at the all same at time, no? Yeah. De La Vega, the Lord, right. Kiel. And we also have been talking about and uh, calling his name a lot, Sidhian Weba, who comes off the bench, you know, he's given a couple, three, three or four tries, and he manages to score. So that is a plus, definitely, for the Sea Lions. Mm -hmm. Well, what you like for Navy right now is to start out strong, but not like that. Yeah, and this is just crisscross reminding everybody that we are the blocking kings of the leaves. And you're right about this second unit or a different uh, unit on the court. Now, hindi na bumalik si Marcus Pejo, si Ish Polvorosa, even Rex and Tal, really. Sumang, Suma, that's right. Yeah. He is not uh, playing as much as Maaring as Libero. So that is, uh, that can really bode well for crisscross. I mean, moving from this point on, it's getting yes. harder from here on. Yeah, I mean, also for these players that they're using here and playing well, it's like, what a confidence booster. Mm -hmm. You know, for them, and it's a great development for their team. And he doesn't need a confidence booster. Baby Bagalai is all confidence. I remember I covered the game and then he came off the bench and made all the difference yeah. and became player of the game. Uh, don't ask me who their opponent was. I yeah. don't remember. And he dropped the bandana. He used to like to wear the bandana <laughs> the, on his forehead. And look at the body language. It's just really the energy on the side of Chris Cross. What, you, what you're hoping is, you know, for these boys, you're hoping that they're not resigned yet mm -hmm. in this match because it's a, you see that, eh? Oh, good save, good save. Yeah, they have to expect that the blockers will be there. De La Vega, with the help of the net. Quick, and was there a check ball? <laughs> There's no challenge. There's and no challenge. With no challenge, you won't expect the green card. <laughs> They're going well, to I'm deny. Oh, oh. They will deny. <laughs> Look at the face of Kim. Look at the face. <laughs> and they're just laughing at the Yeah, door. they're having a good time at the front, talking across the net. That's a point for Navy. This is a must-win fourth set for the Sea Lions. Asia back set to Marasiga. And look at this. He is practically out the door. Okay, for effort, though. Mm -hmm. Rebound there. And you have to appreciate the commitment of the defense of Navy. Chase, De La Vega timing it. Another chance here for Pudadera. To De La Vega again. Asia looking for Marasigan with the tip. Kaling King was there. Dolor will go up. Good defense by Chris Cross. Good rally. And let's see, right away, Marasigan already contesting the call. Let's look at that because... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
last Dutch Navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, they're getting the benefit of the calls. I mean, we saw the slow mo. Well, we didn't have a video playback, but we did show a slow mo. So we showed it already, okay? And uh, so that's why we said Navy, the benefit of two calls. So let's let's see what the response of uh, Chris Cross will be. In the middle and Chu and Jiga just easily scoring. Yeah, that's that's the problem of Navy. If Peter Kiel is at the back, the middle of crisscross, they have a relatively easier time scoring. And it's just really the height advantage. Besides his skill and athleticism, so Chu and Jiga is tall. Yeah, yeah. It's 6'8". Yeah. Double touch, you saw it bounce off his head and shoulder. Yeah. Great blocking. That was Jewel Asia showing us that I can block as well. And things looking good here for Chris Cross. Meantime, Navy has to work double time. This is a must-win fourth set for the Sea Lions. Yeah. It's outside, lucky break for Navy. They will get the point. The ball back and the hearing from George Pasqua in the last couple of huddles, he wants all the points to be coming from Navy. Ayo uh, lang mga points earned off the errors ng kalaban. Yeah, they want the uh, aggressive mindset. Good serve. Joust won by Navy. That's a quick point. For the Sea Lions, care of Greg, Greg Delor. Yeah, that was a good serve wow. by Vitanega. I mean, that paved the way for this joust. <laughs> it's a one point game. Oh. Good serve. Yeah. That's a nice pickup. And defense and then offense for Jude Garcia. He likes the three-man block. He likes the three-man wall. He just goes through yeah. them, right? And talk about quick transitions. I mean, he picked up that to receive, but he was ready for the kill, yeah. for the attack. And the serve. Oh, good. I was going to say, it was a perfect first pass. He stayed put. That's all he asks for. <laughs> Pretty textbook volleyball for, for Navy there that you see that's what they can do. Now if they get the good pass, they have the options. And that's another good pass. Asia pushing it out to Pemi. Marasigan this time. Did that even cross? Well, play continues. Again, no challenge. Yeah. Ball and point will go to Navy anyhow on those straight points for Navy. I think I count three in a row. Yeah. What a block there. That was Sapida. We didn't say. I mean, if Kiel to the back, but Sapida begs to disagree mm. with me. But even at seven. Good serve. That's a good receiver oh. also. And in Jiga. <laughs> I mean, hindi niya pinagsisisihan yung binibigay niya to Asia. Every time he gives it to Njiga, he converts. And with an exclamation yeah. point at that. Tumaporsyento talaga si Chu. And we are at our first technical timeout.
Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge system is now back and breaking. Live at the Inaris Sports Arena, Pasig City, this is Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. First of our doubleheader, PJGC versus Criss Cross. The set score is 2 to 1. King Crunchers ahead. Let's talk about them. The King Crunchers are playing with more fluidity and positivity. The environment of the team, much more energetic. Body language of the players, much lighter and more relaxed. Hence the lead that they have. But they were reminded by the management not to be too lax. Mahaba Pang Laban and their head coach, Coach Tai Bundit, continuously emphasizing their focus on defense because he believes this is the key for them to close out this game with a win. Back to you. Chicky and Reen. Thanks a lot for that, ladies. And you're right, you know, there's so many other things to watch, to observe, and to take in besides the actual action on the court. It's really everything else about the game, the intangibles would matter at this point. Before Bailey's came on, we did hear the stadium announcer announce the return of the video <laughs> challenge. And it had, has mattered in the third set. Actually, there were a couple of calls there that were dubious or that were dubious. worth a second shot, second yeah. uh, maybe a second look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not going to say which ones anymore, but... <laughs> you got to watch the slow, the replay. Maybe still looking to lead here. And why not use the video challenge while it's working? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm looking at Kim Malabunga. He's like totally denying, denying that. So, yeah, I mean, interesting. That touch, touch challenge coming from maybe Sea Lions. Yeah, but you know, they have to start converting. We saw a hitting error from De La Vega and mm -hmm. maybe now again. So, you just want to get it in. Get it in. So far, De La Vega with 17 points today. So, usual numbers from Toto De La Vega. Dolor also in double digits already with 11 points. And looking back at the, their performance in the game before this one against VNS, it was also De La Vega scoring above everyone. With 20, he's going to likely surpass that if they keep playing, if they have a fifth set. Challenge is down again. Okay, so the challenge is canceled. So erase, erase, hindi pa pala ready yung video challenge. We have to hark back to the times when video challenges did not exist at all. Yes. No, which means you don't want to leave it the chance, you know? If you want to get a kill, get a strong kill. Attack row attack. That was answered in the back there. And a conversion. And you know, we're liking what we're seeing from Jude Garcia. He's playing an all-around game. He's had a lot of good pickups from the back, but it was, of course, Bemi Bagalai who finished off, but that was because of the great dig. But he's so smart, though. No? I mean, when you see him go for the kills, he just uses his, his head. Again! Again! I love his smile. I love his smile. Just enjoying. And that is definitely infectious. Yeah. So, kunin nyo sa ano, and then, kung gusto nyo makaikot siya, patayin natin yung bola. Para kahit pa paano, mawawala sa atin, disadvantage natin. Diba? Disadvantage tayo eh. So, kailangan natin rumisip, kailangan natin umatake. Para makaikot tayo. Bumalik tayo sa, kahit tayo ng mga advantage. Diba na? Go, 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 go. Patay, sa patay. Baby! Four-point lead for Criss Cross and a 2-1 lead in sets. 
Jewel Asia is calling the shots here now for Criss Cross since the second set when he picked up the action. Oh, what a dig. Oh, good read there by Navy. Ah, third chance, chance again. Third. See, that's how it's set. It's Magalay. I mean, it's simple. Maybe Magalay will just hit it off the block and score. <laughs> well, third time to charm yeah. for Chris Cross. But what about Greg Delore and her, his digging? And we got Villanueva coming in. And also uh, Hairami will call the shots now. Maybe a, a chance here for Pudadera to see things from a different perspective from the bench for a while. Mm. Let's see if that will matter for Navy. Yeah, I mean, you can sense that Chris Cross is kind of pulling away here in the mm. fourth set. Momentum definitely oh. on the side of the front kick crunchers. And Jewel Asia is having a heyday today. Yeah, he's having a monster game. And that's smart. He, was, he targeted the guy who just came off the bench. Yeah. And we know the story. Usually the setters are good servers. Yeah. I don't know what the explanation is for that. Maybe stronger upper body all yeah. told. I would, I would think. Oh, wow. <laughs> good try. That was outside. But I like seeing a very brave libero of uh, the King uh, Chris Cross. King Crunchers. Cream crunchers. What cream King Crunchers? <laughs> we have to admit this is a tongue twister. <laughs> tongue twister from Chris Cross. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Outside set by the Seagun pushing the ball in. Sea Lions will counter. Oh, now deep there. The Navy needed that point. Yeah, yeah. Much needed, really. And, you know. We heard Coach George, he's waiting for that rotation where they have the advantage. Obviously, Toto de la Vega in front, Derek Delore. So he needs other people to score, like Leo. Good serve. Good pass. Oh. No chance. Leo. Oh. Go deep again. Oh. And they're finding ways to get past the block now, Chris Cross. Yeah, much appreciated uh, points from Leo. Yung talaga yung challenge kung paano mo malalagpasan. Ano yung gagawin mo to get past that wall yeah. that Chris Cross creates every time? That wall named Kim. <laughs> oh! oh! And we're looking for the challenge from Navy that time. I mean, that was clean. That was a... Attack there. Yeah, great wow. set. Look, you, did you see? <laughs> yeah, and you know how dangerous it is if you leave Jude Garcia an open space. <laughs> and here's another player having a great game today off the bench. Femi Bagalai. Open set for De La Vega. And good. Just a really measured uh, cut shot there. Sakto eh. Yeah. What a time for him to rotate to the front. And now Greg Delore. I, I'm assuming this is a rotation. Coach George is saying their advantage. Mm. So they want to at least string up a couple of points here. Here's a chance. Free ball for Navy. Oh, that was a tough one, actually. But Otto de la Vega managed to score just the same. That was so near the net. I think de la Vega also got lucky because Jude Garcia, he stayed so long in the air. He, he, he was targeted by Toto de la Vega. Yan yung sayang, yan yung when nakakasama yung hang time. Again, a chance for Navy here. Oh, 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 oh. Ball still crosses the court here. What it's a rally. I like this rally. It's still alive. And what does Asia do? And those quicks. And Malabugan always ready for those quicks. Oh, what a rally. Yeah. What a 
Rally. 16-13, crisscross up by three in the second technical demo. Serving is Kim Malapuka. Back to the Spiker Surf action here from the Inara Sports Arena. And Chris Cross just uh, maintaining the lead here. After that second technical timeout, Navy was hoping for a chance to maybe disrupt the mm -hmm. momentum of Chris Cross, but didn't happen. Well, Jude Garcia with a solo block. And Dolores able to sneak a point in there. They need a couple more of those in a row, yeah. Navy. Yeah. Especially with these two in front. Dolores and the Navega. Good pass. Oh, good cover. Dolores going up again. Oh. Jiga. Did you see that footy by oh, Marasiga? We thought the ball was still alive. You could never tell until Marinik ko yung pito talaga. Yeah, yeah. But it was deep. You know, that hit of uh, Injiga was so deep that it touched the lower tape of the net. Things looking good for Navy here. Like we said, they need to string along some points. And uh, this could be point number three for them, but that is outside. Solo block doesn't cut it for Navy. Yeah, that's against Jude Garcia. Again, we always say he is very dangerous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and really, I like uh, the action we're seeing from back row for Jude Garcia. Also, he's had a couple of great saves today, yeah. paving the way for those uh, nice tr um, transition plays. Still alive. The Lord goes again. Oh. Well, and that's a dead ball, and the Navy will get a point. Delore really has not given up. That you know, that you can see. <laughs> Did you see that? Isai Marasiga was like pushing Femi Bagal. <laughs> Run faster! <laughs> Although there was already a net violation. Oh, combination attack. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's going to be a point. You know, he's a king. He's going wherever he needs to go to try to keep that ball in play. And back to a three-point lead for crisscross. And uh, this could be it. They can go for a four-set win here. But Navy oh, still within striking distance here, but they have to eliminate errors like that. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem uh, with Toto de la Vega. Sometimes when it's close, he commits these errors. Mm. So, let's go to disadvantage. If you have disadvantage, as much as possible, let's counter. Okay? Don't go to the same way. 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 Or else, we can move forward. So, we need to stop. Stop na kagad doon. Para pag gumikot tayo, kahit po paano, advantage sa mother, then doon tayo raratsyada. Try na muna natin dumikit. Habang disadvantage sa'yo. Kaya pag advantage sa'yo, sige. Para makalayo tayo. Kung mag-error, mas possible pag advantage sa'yo. So we hear the urgency from the voice of Coach George Pasqua, and he he's wanting the side out because he wants to rotate. So Again, he's yes. yes. 
but some great coaching by coach George Pasqua makes all the sense in the world. Mm. Here we go. Let's see if Navy can make it a quick conversion, and that's exactly what Navy needs. How about that response from the players? Yeah, great set because, you know, very few sets to Sapita, and this one, you see, the blockers weren't established. Kailangan talaga gulatin mo yung blockers ng crisscross. Yep. Good serve. Good serve, but really good receive also. And you gotta credit the backup libero of Chris Cross. Mangaring is holding his own. <laughs> He's playing really well. There was challenge, but Jude Garcia just found that right pocket. We've got Reginton coming in at the serve for the first time here. And the middles being activated by oh, still alive. <laughs> still alive. Good defense from Navy. Back row attack. Oh. Parasigan answers. Naputo din. Oh. Oh. Again, it's these quick plays that will catch crisscross off guard. But you were saying earlier, no, the defense of Jude Garcia. Come on, he is showing us that he's not just offense, he is defense as well. I, I, I totally agree. Fifth best scorer in the league. Let's see where he is in the other departments. Garcia is the best blocker. He's also the best server. MVP numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's gotta hurt. He's though. number four best receiver, so we weren't wrong. He has been playing this way all season. Yeah. All tournament, rather. Yeah, but that's gotta hurt. Oh. Service Who's error prior to that. Mm. But to the Dera with a one two play. Pulling a jewel Asia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming alive here yeah. with Adara. Oh, they need to chase now. There's mm. three points, the 22. Talking about Navy. Hang time. Easy point for Kim Malabunga. I mean, you're that tall and you stay up in the air for that long. Ayo, nakatalo na eh. Yeah, but it was just, I think, he wanted to hit it off the blockers. You see how flat his follow-through <laughs> was? Like, it's like high five. <laughs> Outside set to the oh! leg. Oh, come on! That two-pound block is classic. <laughs> this is the thing about crisscross. I mean, if you want a lesson on how to block, you just keep watching their tape. <laughs> That's true. Watching their highlights. And this is a comfortable uh, match point situation here for Criss Cross. Five chances to do it. Yep. Let's see if Navy can hold out. I mean, Criss Cross just made it easy for Navy. Just ended it like that. And how fitting that it ends with a kill block. Yeah. Well, they only needed one. Well, one. Point and uh, crisscross just come from behind, actually. Yeah, yeah, just uh, day and night. What we're seeing, what we saw from crisscross comparing their game in the first set and how they have transitioned into this unstoppable blocking machine in set number four. We'll take a quick break, talk more about this match.
gentlemen, live at the United Sports Arena, Pasig City. You are watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. At ang nagwagi after four sets, three to one is the King Crunchers. Final score of that fourth set is 25 and 19. And with me is the best player of the game, Jewel Asia, wearing jersey number 17 with four points and 21 excellent sets. Congratulations on the win, first off. Well, okay, so coming off that tough loss from Signal, we heard that it was a very emotional uh, post uh, trainings, the ba? Maraming uh, frustration na nangyari. But you guys regrouped and you got this win. Ano pa Ah, uh, siguro uh, okay na may param din namin na nating tulos naman kami. So nagaru lang kami throughout the game. Uh, so yun sa sabi ni Coach Say na happy lang, happy lang kami sa laro. Alam namin na isa kayo sa pinaka mga bata at bagong buo lang dito sa ating uh, competition. Pero with that, ano sa tingin mo yung advantage nyo? Being one of the young guns in the team, marami namang veterano. Uh, siguro yung uh, advantages namin siguro is um, yung kung paano kami mag, mag, uh, mag-connect sa loob ng court, eh, in or out the court. Yun lang. Right, Jewel, baka may gusto ka batiin. Uh, Pinabati ko pala yung mami ko na nasa, nasa trabaho. Kapatid ko nasa bahay din. Uh, yung mga management namin. Thank you po. Maraming salamat. Congrats on the win, Jewel Asia. Back to you, Doreen and Chiki. Thanks so much, Baileys. And a much-deserved player of the game honors for Jewel Asia. Coming off the bench and uh, quickly making a dent, making it easy for the offense of Chris Cross uh, to happen. Yeah, I think he... His entry actually grounded uh, Chris Cross, you know, made him think that, you know, it's not going to be an easy journey against any team for that matter, so we need to work hard. And Jewel Asia provided great stability and leadership to the eager, eager kid. <laughs> and uh, that made all the difference. It's going to be numbers. Um, it's actually e even in attacks, but again, you talked about the monster blocks of Chris Cross. Five to one. And a uh, testament to what we said, whoever blocked better in yeah. that set would end up winning. So Chris Cross, you know, they're at uh, five and one, like mm -hmm. five and one, right? Five and one. So the magic number is six, I yeah. feel. So they still have another another game. Navy now five and two. So Navy has one more game and uh, Crisscross with two more games before the end of the first round. But we are not done yet. We have the uh, Mavericks going up against BNS Nasty for our uh, second game today. And we hope you enjoyed this first game. We sure did. And we are happy to bring it to you. Chikiro Puno with Noreen Go and Bailey Sakot on behalf of our director, uh, Nick Earnshaw, and uh, men and women of Signal Sports. Thanks for joining us. More Spiker Stir here on Filipinas Live.